this part of London has always had a penchant for the weird and the wonderful, and they don't come much weirder than Mutate Britain. Anyone who was around the dance scene in the 80s and 90s will remember, if they remember anything at all, Mutoid Waste. They were designers of worlds, worlds made out of the scrap of the industrial society. The heavier and the metaler, the better. And now, they're back. Back home, in fact, here under the Westway. Mutoid Waste have uh, mutated into Mutate Britain. Among the early arrivals here, several halves of horses, most of a MiG fighter, a giant doll's head with a fish in it, and, well, just about everything else. It might once have been rubbish, but now it's art. Mutoid Waste started on the Port of Road some 25 years ago, and everybody will tell you the area has changed an awful lot since then. But Joe Rush and his team, well, they're convinced there's still an audience for their particular brand of inspired lunacy. And I, for one, well, I wouldn't want to bet that they're wrong. The audience is the general public, and, and they never expect what we're going to give them, you know, like, so, you know, yeah, we, we, haven't, we haven't sort of died out in popularity. Yet. And the, the, the quality of the artwork is just is, is stupendous, you know. Look, we're, I mean, I'm amazed, you know, like, and, I, and I'm ex I was expecting it, you know. Not all the sculptural pieces are here yet. They're still waiting for the psychedelic helicopter, naturally, and the giant space truck. But Mutate Britain, Mutoid Waste, whatever you want to call them, are always worth a look. Damien Stewart, London Tonight, under the Westway.